Lettering is often a large part of what we as embroiderers do. We add names to things, we add monograms to things, and let's look at how to create lettering segments in Design Shop. There's a couple of ways to do that, so let's take a look and get some lettering segments started. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to select my lettering tool, and that is this A on my input toolbar. So I'm going to select that, and as soon as I do, the basic properties for my lettering will show up on that property bar. And my cursor will have a little A beside it. Also, you'll notice that this little propeller kind of shows up, this guy right here. Um, that is the last stitch of the previous element. Um, since there are no previous elements in this project, I've just got a blank project up, that's actually showing me the design origin. So that's to help with placement. So the first thing that I do, I click on my tool. I have that now selected. My cursor has an A beside it. I have my lettering properties up on that bar. I then click on screen where I want that lettering to be. And then I can begin typing. To complete the segment, I would then hit enter, and that's going to finish that lettering segment. So let's do that again. I'm going to delete this, and let's just do that again. So I'm going to select my lettering tool. I've got my main properties up here. I could change them ahead of time if I wanted. I'm going to click on screen where I want this to be. I'm going to type. It'd be better if I didn't hold the shift key so hard. Um, now, if I want to have another line, I can hold control and hit enter and it will act as a carriage return. So pressing enter will complete the lettering segment. If you're typing on screen, you can hold control and hit enter to act as a carriage return. All right, so now I'm gonna hit enter and that's going to complete that lettering segment. When you complete the lettering segment, the resize edit box will come up around it. So let's move this on screen um, and let's right click and go to properties on it. And that will bring up all the properties for my lettering and this lettering box, which I can come in and I can change the spelling or change what lettering I'm using. Um, I can copy from like an email or a text document and paste it into here. So I'm not responsible for spelling and in here, uh, just pressing enter will act like a carriage return, so it's not finishing anything like it does when you're typing on screen. Uh, when I hit apply, those changes will then appear on screen. So there's a ton of information in this window, and I may choose to set up my lettering with a lot more of that information to start, or I may want to be able to paste in uh, from a text document to start. So instead of clicking on the, the lettering tool and clicking on screen and then typing, what I may choose to do, I may want access to all of those properties and that lettering box immediately. I can click on my tool, click on screen. If I don't type anything and I just hit enter, my properties will come up. I can then type in this box all I want or paste in there from something else. Hit apply and that will show up on screen. I'm gonna hit okay to close that box. I'm gonna center that just because I typically do that before I uh, save a design. But now I have my lettering segment complete. So again, two different ways to do it. I can click on the lettering tool, click on screen and start typing. I can click on the lettering tool, click on screen and hit enter to access all those properties in that lettering box so that I can paste into there or type and use enter as a norm normal carriage return. Um, again, two different ways to do it. Lots of uses for those lettering uh, segments, but now you know how to create a lettering segment in Design Shop.